What's up, people? Thank you so much for all the love you guys gave me. And also, I wanted to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. I know 2020 is almost done, and I hope everyone is ready and excited for 2021 to come. Now, for today's recipe, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're actually going to be making paneer dhania adrak, um, or adraki paneer dhania. This is a dish that I had about five or six years ago um, when I was in India, when I stayed in India for a little bit. Um, I had got a chance to try this recipe at a very, very, very small daba. Um, so I'm going to try to recreate that dish based on that memory and that taste that I had. Um, but it's an amazing recipe, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe for you. All right, guys, so for this recipe, what we're going to do is uh, I'm actually um, letting my oil warm. And now at that same time, I'm going to add some butter to it. I'm adding a big cube of butter in there. Um, so this makes the gravy a little bit creamier. So we're going to go ahead and add butter to the, uh, to the oil. And what we're going to do is in the same butter we're actually going to add a lot of lot of adrak so i have a big square of adrak that uh, that's finely chopped adrak it's uh, it's ginger so i have a big uh, big square ginger that's finely finely chopped and we're going to saute the uh, the ginger a little bit uh, saute the adrak a little bit now we're going to do this on a high flame for 30 seconds very very quick so as soon as we saute the other and as soon as it starts um, um, giving the aroma what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add onions to it and also we're going to go ahead and add freshly chopped chilies to it as well. Now the chili and onion we're gonna the onions we're gonna let it caramelize so as soon as the onion turns brown um, we're gonna go ahead and start adding other ingredients to it. Alright guys so my onions have turned brown uh, turned brown a little bit. Now at this point I'm gonna add about two and a half tomatoes that's finely chopped. Um, it's super finely chopped please make sure when you chop your tomatoes they are Tomatoes and onions, they are finely, finely chopped. Now, at this point, to speed up the process of cooking tomatoes and onions, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of salt to it, salt to taste. And we're going to go ahead and let this cook. Um, we're going to cook the tomatoes about 70% uh, right before they start getting mushy. So we're gonna go ahead and cook that up very quick and uh, I'll show you the next step from there. All right guys, so uh, the tomatoes are almost cooked. Now at this point, I'm gonna lower my heat and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bunch of coriander to it, a uh, bunch of cilantro to it and we're gonna go ahead and give it a good mix. All right guys, so at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding our spices to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of haldi to it. And again, uh, um, I'm just going based on what I remember taste-wise. Uh, and it looks pretty simple recipe. So, haldi, I'm going to go ahead and add, again, Kashmiri chili, just for the color of it. I have people that don't eat spicy food. So, just a little bit of color, so Kashmiri chili. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and add about a spoon of uh, dhania powder. And with dhania powder, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of garam masala. We're going to go ahead and let the masalas cook for uh, for about half a minute or a minute or so uh, until it starts losing the oil. And then we're going to go ahead and start adding the remaining ingredients. Alright guys, now our uh, masalas are cooked. At this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of cashew paste to it. Now, as I recall the taste of it, it was very, very creamy and very, very rich. And the taste I had, it wasn't the taste of a fresh creamer. So I'm going to give it a shot and add some cashew paste to it. 
I'm gonna let the cashew paste uh, cook for about a minute or so and then we're gonna go ahead and add the remaining of the, the ingredients and then we're gonna be all done all right guys so at this point what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some kasuri methi and with kasuri methi guess what I'm gonna be adding with that and you guessed it right I'm gonna add some more butter another big block of butter in there and with butter I'm gonna go ahead and add I have some heavy cream here so I'm gonna go ahead and add some cream and once we do that we're gonna give it a good stir and after giving a good stir we're just gonna go ahead and uh, as soon as our butter melts what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, add our paneer to it and then just let it cook for uh, we're gonna cover it let it cook for about three to four minutes and our recipe is gonna be all good alright guys so our gravy is done at this point what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our paneer cubes in there once we add the paneer cube we're just gonna cover it and let it cook for about just about a minute two minutes or so and then our uh, our recipe is gonna be done alright guys so as you know the food is ready I'm not waiting on you uh, do let me know if I missed any steps or if there is anything I can do to improve this recipe I would love to hear your feedback on that. Um, again, I really appreciate everything you guys do for me. Keep liking, sharing, subscribing. I do want to thank all of my fellow, uh, fellow YouTubers that has liked my, uh, my channel and given me great feedback. I really appreciate you guys. Keep on liking, sharing, subscribing. Until next time, I'll see you soon.